Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. I am high on caffeine. I've already had a cup of tea and I have another one here. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm ready to blow some stuff up. And you know what? I had a great idea that I really want to try. Tell me, what do you think about this? I think it would be very funny if you hired a bunch of newbies. How many do I have? A bunch of um, unranked people. What is the unranked called? It's a rookie. Yeah, if, if you had a bunch of rookies and you went out on a very difficult mission with nothing but rookies. A sort of sink or swim mentality. Just say, here you go, rookies. You think you can make it? Good luck. I think that would be incredibly hilarious and also kind of mean. But it would be fun. If I do do that, though, I'm not going to do it now. That's something I would do when I maybe had a lot of resources. So I could accept the... So I could absorb the loss without any real problems. It'd be kind of stupid, too, because if you failed the mission, I think panic would probably increase. Instead of going down. Hmm. I don't know. Just a thought. Anyway, one thing I want to do that I just thought of before I forget is buy... Oh, wait, I have no money. Shit. Which one did I want to buy? Yeah, I wanted to buy another uplink targeting aim consumable. Because if I... My interceptors are kind of weak. So if I encounter another UFO, unless it's a small one, I'm probably going to have to use this. And I don't have one. Because I just used it. So, uh, let me... Yeah, let me sell something. I really want another one. Man, I really need more chrysalid corpses. For the chitin plating. That'll be enough, right? Five? Was it five or six? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, there we go. Now I have literally zero dollars. Or zero, zero space bucks, whatever the hell that is. What, what is that symbol? It's like an S that's broken up and has a circle in the center. What the hell is that? I have no idea what it means. Is there anything else to do? Um, I'm just waiting for satellites. Yeah, I have three satellites coming in 20 days, which is going to make things a lot better. I really want to make sure I don't lose any more people. I mean, we have mass panic and Mexico is gone, which is bad. So if any mission comes up, even if it's very difficult, I need to take it. Like, I need to select my locations based on panic, not on their rewards. And I believe, yeah, everyone is back on duty, so I can take very, very difficult missions without any problems. Oh yeah, Gary Warner is on covert operation. Good luck, Gary Warner. And I think that's it, right? No new... Wait a minute, what the hell did that say? Oh, insufficient funds. That's just, I can't even remove my facilities because I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to bulldoze my places. That's kind of sad. I think, yeah, I think that's it. I just need to wait. UFO power source will be done in five days. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. They want six sectoid corpses. The CEO of a major Argentine... Ar Argentinian? Yeah, must be Argentinian. A pharmaceutical company has expressed interest in studying one of the sectoid corpses we've recovered. They've, prom they've promised that if we help them, they'll reciprocate in kind. From my experience, these rewards will give you double what you'd make if you sold the corpses on the black market. Do I need them for anything? I honestly don't know. Hold on, um... That's a pretty sizable chunk of how many sectoid corpses I have. So, let me check what uses it. What uses sectoid corpses? I don't... I don't see sectoid corpses here. Floaters... Oh. Okay, the uplink... The uplink targeting uses it, but only uses three. I'm not gonna buy that many. What else would use corpses? Lyrium... Blah, 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 blah. Thin man corpse... I don't really think I need the sectoid corpses. 
Nah, I need the money really badly. So, I'll... Yeah, I'll do it. There you go. 60 bucks. What can I do with 60 bucks? Should I do anything with 60 bucks, or should I save it? What was I saving for? I know there's a bunch of stuff I want, but what? Um, I really don't need to focus on satellites at the moment, because I'm... I've already got three more coming in, which is perfectly fine. I could use more power, though. Yeah. I can't build anything. As far as I know, I can't build anything without another power generator. Ah, 200 for another thermo. Hmm. And unfortunately, whatever satellite uplink I build next is going to be blocked in, so I'm not going to get the adjacency bonus, which blows. But, what are you going to do? Should I save up for a power generator? Honestly, I probably should. That's a long-term thing. I mean, I'm going to have to wait for that to build, and then I can build more facilities later. Yeah... Yeah, I should probably do that. Because I, I don't need to focus on satellites now. But the problem is, if I don't do this prerequisite stuff, it's going to be forever till I can build new satellites, because I'm going to have to build another satellite uplink, wait for that to finish, which takes, like, what, 20 days or something? Then build satellites, which takes another 20 days. So we're talking, like, a couple months before I can even build satellites. Basically. Yeah, let's save. Abduction, right? Abduction. Ab no, no abduction. No, Raven 3 is back. Illyrium generator. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have enough room for this stuff. Whoa, whoa. what is that? What is that? Mech 2. Mech 2 Sentinel? Mech 2 Sentinel. That sounds amazing. What is that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Illyrium power generator supplies plus 30 power. Is that better than a thermo generator? Ooh. Oh, what is this? Grenade launcher or restorative mist? To make up for their lack of thrown grenade capability with a long-range grenade launcher. Ooh. Med... Medikits? Medic... Wait. Medikits? I thought they were called medkits. There's an I there? Medikits? I need to check this out. But before then, let's just read it. Require fire motor control. Instead, the mech can spray restorative mist to heal all nearby allies. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Well, let's first see how much it costs. And what do I do next? Um, Illyrium is used by the aliens to generate antimatter energy when bombarded with certain particles, providing them the source of power generation. In other words, I have no idea what that's going to do. Skeleton suit. Ah, I wish I knew what it did exactly. I think the skeleton suit allows you to use like a grappling hook, if I remember right. Which is kind of pointless, because I can just do the gene mod that allows you to jump wherever the hell you want. But it also might give you more armor, I'm not sure. Hmm, I don't need better weapons yet. I mean, it never hurts, but even if I had this stuff, I don't think I could afford all the weapons. Let's do the skeleton suit. It's only going to take five days. Figure out exactly what it does. Alright, check out this mech. Now we can finally upgrade. 60 meld, ooh. Alright, it doesn't cost much money, but it costs a lot of meld. Okay, well... Why, why did, the hell did you just turn around? Oh, it's because it's, it's it goes on the back, I guess, the upgrade. I thought John Cotton Candy Smith doesn't want to look at me. I'm too ugly. Um... I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to give him the grenade launcher because, if I remember right, let me go check this out. Uh, I'm getting mired in, in menus. The menu mire. What, what am I... Uh, yeah, here we go. 
abilities. Or is it... Here we go, okay, yeah. Allows additional uses of restorative mist, grenade launcher, and proximity mine launcher in each mission. And increases primary weapon base ammo by 50%. So this is the guy I want to give the stuff who's going to be... Like, lobbing grenades. Because he has expanded storage. So he's definitely the one to get the grenade launcher. Let's do that. I'm going to give it to him. Hopefully it doesn't take time. Hopefully it's instant. Let's give you grenade launcher. Wait a minute, though. Do I need to buy grenades? I probably need to buy grenades. I'm assuming the grenade launcher just shoots normal grenades. And wait a minute. Does this just give him a grenade launcher, or does it also, like, give him more health because it's a better, better mech suit? I don't know. I mean, it says mech 2. Eh, let's just roll with it. Let's see what happens. One mech 1 warden has been upgraded to a mech 2 sentinel. Excellent. Right. Well, that's all I can do. God, he looks amazing, doesn't he? Wait a minute, what the... What's with this paint scheme? That doesn't look right. He's, he's missing the... Like, the white. What the hell happened? Hold on. What happened to you, John Cotton Candy Smith? What the... You don't look the same. Where was it? No, it's not that. It's the decoration. Yeah, you... When did it change? You look kind of like that. Maybe when you upgrade your mech suit, it looks different. Is that a different mech suit than the other one? It's hard to tell. Okay, look at the feet. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. I think it is different. Yeah, I must have reset. The... Armor dec decoration. Alright, well, that's close to what it looked like before. Although it seems more like a digital camo sort of look than what was on before. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, that's close enough. Gotta get you back to your fluffy cotton candiness, John Cotton Candy Smith. Alright, we're good. Ooh, council report in one day! I'm gonna be rolling in money! What the hell? Oh, that was weird. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, he's probably going to give me a very bad rating because we lost Mexico, right? Hello, Commander. Much to our regret, a number of council members have recently withdrawn their support. Oh, fuck! How? Oh. You can lose the game. Like, permanently? If too many people withdraw? Three people have withdrawn. I'm not about to lose, am I? Excellent work, Commander. Oh, no, no, no. This council is pleased to see our <laughs> continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. I was so scared. He was all ominous, like, unfortunately, a number of countries have chosen to withdraw. And then a second later, hey, you did a pretty good job. I give you a B. I don't deserve a B. F three fucking places withdrew permanently from the XCOM project. I should get an F. But I'm not going to complain. <sighs> yeah, this is why I need those satellites. Badly. Remember... Be watching. I've never forgotten. Okay. Now I have shit tons of money. What do I do with shit tons of money? What was I going to do? The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Alright, let's check out this Illyrium generator thing. Alright, so thermo generator gives you what? Plus 20. Illyrium generator costs more? Takes a bunch of supplies, but gives you 30. Okay. Um.
It's honestly it's just better to build that. If I build that, I'm not going to have to worry about power for a while. And it's actually more efficient than the thermo generator. You get 10 more power, but not for 100 more dollars, only for 75 more dollars. Of course, you have to spend Illyrium alloys and UFO power sources, but that's fine. So, even though this is a steam spot, I'm just going to build the Illyrium here. Yeah. We're investing in the future. It's going to cost a lot now, but after this, we don't have to worry about power for quite a while. It's going to give me 32 power. No. No. Where should I put the rest of the satellite uplinks? I think I'm going to put them here, maybe. Well, how much does it cost to build an axis lift? 50. I don't want to spend the money yet. 40 to excavate. I mean, a laboratory is definitely going to go here. No doubt about that. I already have quite a bit of workshops. I might not really need any more. What else can I build? Yeah, you can't start building this because I don't have enough power, right? Yeah, you can't. I was wondering about that. I was thinking maybe... Maybe you could build it even if you don't have the power, but it just wouldn't work. You couldn't turn on the lights, so to speak. It would be inoperable until you had the power, but no. Um, I could, could build another laboratory, but I think my money's better spent somewhere else. Because I've already spent a lot of it on the generator. I'm just going to wait for that to go. And I'll just put my satellite uplinks, uplinks here. Yeah, that'll be fine. So where else do I spend my money? Ooh, one thing I wanted... Oh god, there's so many places I want to spend money, but I don't have enough. I wanted the Iron Will. That's something you really need to purchase early. Otherwise, it's not going to have... It's not going to be very effective. Because it only applies each time someone's promoted. So the more senior your people are, the less relevant it is. What about items? I might want to buy some grenades. Because I think my people need grenades. I guess we should go check that out, shouldn't we? Does my mech need grenades? For its grenade launcher. Where are you? There you are. Uh, okay, it's not a separate item. Maybe I don't give you grenades? Okay, I don't know how that works. I guess we'll figure it out, but for now, I don't think I need to buy grenades. Um, hmm. And I still can't make the shit in plating because I don't have enough chrysalid corpses. Need to fight some more. I really don't need to buy anything here. There is, of course, stuff I want here. What did I want? <laughs> of course, I wanted the expensive stuff. Allowing for mobility improvements in our cyber suits and shiv units. And the scope, the scope upgrade would be nice. Still, satellites would be nice, I suppose. Ammo conservation would be very nice. Allows people to carry more ammo. That'd be very good, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck! What do I spend my money on? I don't know what to spend my money on! I'm gonna go with ammo conservation. I think. Let's do that. I'm just gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's do stuff that improves our combat effectiveness, which will increase our ability to make money, and will in the long term increase our ability to spend money on other stuff. I'm gonna say my is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Thank you. 
I, I like the fact that when he's talking, you can't click to go anywhere. I was clicking on this and it wouldn't do it. I had to wait until he, he shut up. I mean, not shut up. I mean, I had to wait. I had to politely wait until he stopped talking because I totally respect everything you have to say. Yes. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of my money for Iron Will. So I'm just going to wait. Get a little bit more money. And I guess the next thing we're doing is a covert operation. We're going to have to extract Gary Warner. I mean, Gary Warner! Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not sure you can say that using my gigantic mech to punch them in the face and lob grenades and burn their faces off is discretionary, but I'll try. Okay, my mechs are good. Let me check you, because you have the grenade launcher. No, I guess you don't need to give them grenades. I guess it's just like a generic grenade thing. I don't know. Alright, who do I want to take? Um, I definitely don't need my best for these sort of missions. These Exalt missions seem relatively easy. So I'm going to take Spectre to level her up a bit more. She has a scope and she has the armor, which is good. Yeah, that's good. Let's level Auchner up a bit as well. I'm not going to take Arrow, because Arrow is very high level. What is your level? Oh shit, actually, you might be as high as Arrow. Let's check. You are, yeah. You're both the same level. Alright, let's go ahead and take Arrow. Because she has mimetic skin. I want to give Ochner mimetic skin, but not just yet, because it's too damn expensive. Let's make stuff available. Just in case. Arc Thrower. I really don't need an Arc Thrower for the Exalt mission, because you can't even capture the Exalt. They just kill themselves. So that's kind of pointless. Let's just give you the standard loadout. Scope and nanofiber vest. Wait a minute. You have the shitty shotgun. There we go. You have the shitty body armor, too. There we go. Let's make sure everyone has the right stuff. Now I'm worried. Carapace, heavy laser, rocket launcher, nanofiber vest, scope. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, you're good. I think I'm good to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's get some more caffeine. Dropship has arrived. Mm. Oh yeah. Caffeine makes me cough. <coughs> I didn't drink that tea correctly. I failed at drinking tea. This sweep indicates an exalt cell operating within France. Once Strike One is in position to provide an escort, our operative can complete the operation. Alright, so it looks like it's another prevent the exalt from hacking our encoder thing. If that fails, protect the data transmitter until exalt forces are eliminated. Okay. Operation First Spark. was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objectives updated. Oh, now I get it. Okay, so I need to stop them from hacking this, and if they hack this, then I need to protect that. Okay. And yeah, someone told me that if you hack these, it prevents the Exalt troops from attacking the next turn. So I guess that's what that does. I'm not sure if that means, like, the Exalt that are already on the map can't attack next turn, or it means another wave of Exalt won't come in. I'm not exactly sure which. Oh my god. You know what this is? This resembles a map. That I remember playing, and I remember being horrifying when I originally played XCOM Enemy Within. Like, I. For some reason, associated with this map is horrible cyber discs and gigantic mech things. And chrysalids. Ugh. 
That's a bad memory. Alright, let's check out this grenade launcher. Launch grenade. Does up to four damage to enemies and destroys terrain. Holy shit, you can throw that pretty far. Yeah. So, essentially, you know what, essentially, what the launch grenade is, is basically a super collateral damage. I mean, it's just like the collateral damage, except it doesn't take ammo from the normal weapon, and it does more damage and has a larger radius. Yeah, that's basically what it is. That's awesome. Okay. I keep forgetting what my troops can do. Are right, you have bullet swarm. You have super dense smoke. You have squat sight, which is the most important thing, and of course you have flying reflexes and mimetic skin and blah blah blah. In other words, you're amazing. Wait a minute, where's um where's Gary Warner? Gary there you are. So we need to protect that, and you need to get... I was going to say you need to get the hell out of here, but actually, no, you don't. You need to get to these things. Yeah, let's get to the first one here. Stepping off. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. Hmm. Now, do I keep disabling the Exalt's comm systems? And ignore this area? Or do I just go in here and ensure that they can't... The, th the thing is, Gary Warner is very... Exposed out here. And if I protect the encoder or the transmitter or whatever, this thing here, then it doesn't even matter if they keep coming. Hmm. Alright, well. move up here. I kind of want to just protect the zone. I mean, hell, let them come. I can just blow their faces off. Easy. Hold on, I'm curious about something. Can you... Oh, no. You, that's right, you don't have muscle fiber density. I was wondering if anyone can jump on the roof. Or is this too high? It's probably too high. You can jump up here, though. Actually, can you get up there? Is there somewhere to crawl up? doesn't look like it. Damn it, I wish she had my muscle fiber density. I really need to get her that gene mod. I, I'm honestly not sure what to do, whether to go for these first or just go to this zone here and protect it. I feel like I should be getting these things, but it's going to end up with all my troops very spread out, so no, I'm not going to do it. Nope. Let's just move in. I have no idea where they're going to come from. So I'll just move in as close as possible. They usually come from the borders of the map. Or actually, I think they always come from the borders of the map, but there might be some already on the map. By default, I don't remember. I should have moved you in a full cover right there instead of half cover. That was stupid. On your order. Yep, they're on the map. <laughs> Their communications just cracked me up. It's no wonder they're so incompetent. With how they communicate, just... It's like, Jesus, invest in some better comms, huh? We disrupted the enemy communications network. 
It'll take some time for them to get it running again. All right, hopefully there's another relay back. Yeah, actually, there's another relay back there, so I can hit that one while we're protecting this zone. For now, though, let's scout ahead safely. Should I go inside, or should I go out the back alley? Let's check the alley. Hello? Nothing. All right. Gary Warner, I think it's your turn. Got it. Moving. You're gonna head the charge. Because clearly you're the most combat effective. Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh. Suggesting Exalt has access to MELD as well as lab facilities on par with our own. However, I would never suggest we follow such an unrestrained approach to modifying the physiology of our own soldiers. Yes, Remember, thank you. We have an exalt unit attempting to hack the encoder. I, I know. I know this. I know these things. You, you can stop. The transmitter's coordinates. I wish I could see them. I really, really do. Let's make that happen, shall we? Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, you seem very close together. Okay, can I blow this thing up? What if I blow it up? I, I feel like I would fail the mission if I blew it up. Because I want to blow it up. I really want to blow it up. It's, it's getting highlighted as if I'm going to blow it up. These things have a red outline, but this one has a green. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if that means I need it. I'm not going to blow it up. That's too dangerous. What a grenade. Ah, I can't blow it up, damn it. I just want to throw grenades everywhere. Just blow everything up. But no. Let's move you up and see if you can take a shot. Nope. You could toss a green... Oh, no, it's on the roof. Uh, that's not going to work. Once again, I could blow it up. But no. Don't blow it up. That's dumb. All right, let's just get you here. I could put you right next to the door, but then you could be shot at, and there's no reason to put you in danger for no reason, because you can't do anything. Let's just shoot you. Well, of course it missed. stuff up. I want to blow up all their cover, but their cover is something that I probably need. I just overwatch. And you. You, you, you. And if I use my kinetic strike, I'm probably going to blow it up once again. All right. Just, just get in there. Unless, wait a minute, what's your chance of... Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Excellent, it paid off. Oh, shit. Adrenaline surge. Maybe it didn't pay off. Wait, you can shoot twice? Overdrive? Is it... What? I don't even remember giving you that. Oh, you can shoot twice. You have overdrive. I guess I'll try again. Ah, it's gonna work! There is an approximately 25% chance of both shots hitting. I'm proud of you. 
get you on the roof. I still can't get you on the damn roof. I can't believe this chain link fence is high cover. I mean, there's a car behind it, but the car itself is only half cover, as you can see, and a chain link fence doesn't really protect you much at all. Alright, well, I'm not going to put Spectre on the front line, so I'm just going to put you here in full cover and covering the alley, because that's where Gary Warner is going to go next. To hack the other comm relay. Bring it on. Bring as many as you want. Make it a party. I think they're going to be able to hack it. The fools. We've got a wave of new signatures closing on strike one. Oh my god. Multiple hostiles inbound. They really don't know. They can't find that thing. They need to hack the thing over here to find that, even though they're... St like, they can just fucking... St look at it. It's like 20 feet over there. God, they're incompetent. They're so bad. Alright, you have no ammo. Which fucking sucks. I can destroy your face. Which would be very good. And then I have to destroy your face. So who could destroy your face? You could destroy his face. I still want to blow everything up. I just want to fucking blow it all up. I, I can't even use my goddamn flamethrower in here. I'm just going to burn it, probably. I don't even know if I need to avoid blowing it up. Maybe it's fine, but I really don't think it is. Alright, let's just deal with this first. I could even... Oh, I could even kick your ass. I can't get to it yet. I could move you into an extremely dangerous position, which would be very unwise. So I'm just going to move you here. There we go. You'll be safe. And let's just move you up here. Right, so that's the only one I actually need to kill. Ooh, ooh, if I do this, I might blow up the cover that Gary Warner has. Yeah, that <laughs> that's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. Well, let's just take some shots here. Hold on, ho hold on. Does someone have hollow targeting or something? I always forget about that shit. Bullet swarm, heat ammo... No, you don't have hollow target, but you, but you can shoot twice. Actually, no, you... Actually, yeah, you can, but it's gonna use up all your ammo. That's fine. Oh shit, I didn't switch targets. Fuck, I shot the wrong one. Oh no. That's the one I didn't want to shoot, because I'm going to kill him with a punch. Fuck. Man. A lot of misses here. Thirty-seven percent chance. What if I just did... It only does up to four damage. This is not turning out how I wanted it to. I can still guarantee his death, so this isn't this isn't a problem. But Eh, whatever, just just take the shot. It's thirty seven percent chance, it's poor, but yeah, it's what I expected. It's probably a better use of his turn, but whatever. It's, they're just exalt. They're easy. Right, now it's time to smash your face. Oh, hi. Yes, yes, please stay in a very small group. I like it when you do that. Oh, man, if I could shoot a rocket at them right now. Ooh. Hold on. Who can I do stuff with? 
Right, of course, my sniper, as always, because I can't get her on the freaking roof. Can't do anything. Let's get her into the game here. What's a better use of your turn? Smacking this guy in the face or doing something over there? You can't really do anything over there, so... Just smack him in the face. Alright, so I've pretty much fucked this turn really poorly. That didn't sound right. I fucked up this turn a lot. That's what I meant to say. Should I run and gun to kill you? I kind of want to. I also kind of don't. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do with you? See, if, if I kill him, that's going to put her in a bad situation with these guys. I don't think that's wise. I could put her here, but then she probably wouldn't have a good chance of killing him because he's in full cover. I could put her in half... No. I'm going to put her here. I'll use her next turn. Alright, this is going to be a painful turn, because there's four of them that can... Oh, no, there's five of them. Yeah, just try and shoot him. Good luck. He can take it. Oh, oh, you're going to shoot him. Never mind. You're a sniper. You can't move and shoot. Oh, you're trying some tactics, huh? Re really, that's all they're going to do? A couple of them moved into... The sniper did nothing but move into full cover and reload. And this guy just moved into half cover and reloaded. You... God. These exalts are terrible. Okay. Now I have a lot of options. Okay, I see three here that could probably be blown up with some sort of an explosive. So, who can blow up shit? Um... There we go. I even get... I can even get all of them. No, wait, shot is blocked. Oh, 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 oh. That's the one. If it doesn't miss, it is going to get all four. <laughs> I love that rocket. It's amazing. And I can even lob a grenade. Oh, wow, wow, there's a lot of them. Or I could flame. No, I can't get into range for that. Oh, come on. I've, I've got to do this. i got to test out this grenade launcher. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these people are amazing. Right, this guy is meant to go in close. And he's got all sorts of things that protect him. Like what? The repair servos and, and stuff. So I think I'm just going to smash your face. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. If I do that, it might mess with you. Alright, well, let me just get you over here. You're pretty safe there. She'll probably be okay, Spectre. I think. I should probably take a shot with her first, just in case she's not. 
Actually, no, that's dumb. Because if it blows up her cover, I can use the rest of her turn to move. So I should do this first. Oh, I didn't know you were on Overwatch. It might actually hit. Ow. That actually did a worrying amount of damage. It's fine. What's that gonna blow up? What's, what's that gonna blow up? It'll be fine. Spectre will be fine. Yep, see, she's fine. Still in full cover. Right, a lot of targets, not a lot of health on them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She has some she has some stuff. What does she have? She mm. Anything that can make her shoot twice against multiple enemies. No, I think it's my other assault that has that, right? The one that like makes it so you can it doesn't eat up your whole turn to Oh, no, that's not going to work. Hmm. Never mind. Okay. Ah, there's so many of them. Honestly, I should probably use a smoke grenade. Just to protect him. There's too many people that can take shots at him. I don't like it. Right, that's a nearly guaranteed death. Hold on, who can my sniper hit? And before that, do I have any AoEs I can do? No, I don't. That is a very good chance to hit. So is that. Which one's more dangerous? Uh, I think the sniper is more dangerous, yeah, just because he's got a greater chance of actually hitting. So which one's the sniper? That one? I, I think so. It's hard to... Yeah, yeah, you're the sniper. Okay, goodbye. And for you... Oh, I actually got an achievement. Good day. What kind of range do I have in the smoke? Okay. Let's toss that in. Hopefully I can hit Spectre as well, please. There we go. I didn't just get the exalt in the smoke grenade, did I? I hope I didn't. I forgot to check that. No, I don't think I did. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. I can kill this guy and put her in full cover. Let's do it. I think she's in the smoke, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's good. Well, she has lightning reflexes too, so it doesn't even matter. Guaranteed miss. Not exactly sure why I'm revealed, though. I went from full cover to full cover. Hmm. Anyway. You're dead. Your turn, Exalt. What are you doing? Did you... Did he just use his entire turn to get up to my mech with kinetic strike and do nothing? What the fuck? Damage. You missed with hollow targeting. God, these exalt are dumb. They're so dumb. Exalt forces are moving into position near strike one. Eh, whatever.
they're so incompetent. I don't think they're, they're so dumb. Holy fuck, there's four more? Okay. They might be dumb, but they're also numerous. Well, first thing is first, let's do this. It will take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. Right. Well, I can just kill you. I really want to reload your freaking weapon, but I can't do that. Let's let them come to us, shall we? So I can kill you, and then who do I shoot? Yeah, he's in he's covered by the defense of the the smoke grenade. You are not, so that's practically a guaranteed death. Unfortunately, she can be seen from her starting position, so moving into a place with full cover would not activate the mimetic skin. I could maybe flame both of them. Hold on. Um, maybe... Let me try that, actually. Hold on. I might not need to use my Kinetic Strike. And this gets me protected by the cloud. Will a grenade hit both? Oh, I could even grenade them both. Let me try the flame, though. Yeah, I can just flame them both. Okay, so I don't need to use Kinetic Strike. I can get this guy reloaded. I want him to be in the cloud, though. To be protected. I'm not sure how long the cloud is going to last. At most, one more turn. What if I went on the roof? Let's do it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> God, that is amazing. I don't think any of them can take a shot at him, so he should be safe, and he can reload. Right, now you're out of there. Now, let's use my flamethrower here. That's not going to hit my uh, assault trooper, right, Arrow? No, okay, good. I love my mechs, they're amazing. That's a damn good chance to hit, I will take it. Damn. Who does that leave? Oh right. Yeah, they're coming up here from the back. Which means they're about to get flanked. So, let's mm, see if I move them here, they might get flanked by one of the enemies over here, but then they won't get flanked by the enemies coming from here. Ooh, this would be a good, this would be a good spot to get them from here. Alright, um... Nah, let's just flip around to the other side of the door. You need to reload, you have no ammo. You can overwatch. I'd like to move you towards the next one, which is over here. Yeah, why don't you move up? You'll be fine, don't worry, Gary Warner. I can't use my run gun, so I actually can't kill you yet. Oh, she could mimetic skin. 
Yeah. Into full cover. Where's full cover? Where's full cover? There's some full cover. Let's go over here. All right. I can't wait to jump down with that mech and punch somebody in the face. Oh, I didn't think it would get a reaction shot on someone from that side. Did he just float up? Just, oh, he went upstairs, sort of, kind of, from the side. Yeah, I was, I was thinking I'd get a reaction shot against him. What the fuck did he just do? He just spun around. <laughs> These Exalt are so stupid! You're not even in cover! What are you doing? You're so dumb! How can you be so dumb? Alright, can I get you... Oh, I'm a little bit short. You have a 96% chance to hit that dude through the mech? Damn, Graves, I didn't think you were that good of a shot. Right, well, it's Spectre that needs the... the experience, so... Let's give her a shot. Excellent. Alright, you can hit that... that idiot. Go ahead and take that shot. There's even a crit. Yeah, let's put you... out here. In full cover, and you're dead. And that was a crit. I don't want to just jump down and punch him in the face because it's fun. But I actually probably shouldn't do that. I think what I should do is move him here. And if anyone else comes around here, I can overwatch them. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Captain Smith has earned a promotion. Well deserved, Captain Smith. Ah, I see you, but you don't see me. Let's just overwatch. And Gary Warner can move up. Move up where? Uh... Yeah, I'll move you here. You're kind of exposed, but you'll be fine. I think, maybe. Yeah, you'll be fine. Kind of love those repair servo motors. Did you? It looks like this is the last <sighs> reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Did you seriously just come onto the roof? That is such a bad. Oh, and you're about to get a reaction shot. Wait, what the hell just happened? So someone just took a reaction shot at somebody, but I don't know what the hell just happened. H who just shot who? Was it you? Someone got a reaction shot. Who the fuck was that? I don't even know. Um, first... Ah, oh, fuck, I'm one short of being able to get it this turn. Well, let's just move you over here. Right. Uh, that is just asking for an explosion of some sort. You made a big mistake by coming here, buddy. Oh, it's you who got a reaction shot, and you almost killed him.
Well, I might as well just go over and punch his face, huh? Hopefully I don't break the roof. Good. I didn't break the roof. Alright, I want to use your grenade. Uh, I can't really get out there, though. I could put him here, but he I can't lob it around the corner. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Very unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to be able to use an AoE against these people. No, and my heavy's already used her rocket. You're being flanked by him. I need to take him out. Four damage. That's like the lowest the weapon can possibly do, I think. Uh, if she does that, she's not going to have any ammo left next turn. No. Oh, she doesn't even have enough ammo to suppress. Crap. Well, I might as well use up her ammo. What else is she going to do? Can't suppress, can't use her raw... Oh, she's going to miss. That's what she's going to do. Well, let's just move you up. Maybe you can lob a rocket around the corner? I mean, a grenade? No. Oh my god. John Cotton Candy Smith, you are amazing. Ooh, this is full cover. Let's move you up here, get you some more experience, Spectre. Hopefully. And my run gun is back, but I can't get anywhere close enough to use it effectively. What's the best place to move for next turn? Ooh, right here. Yep. Oh, hi. Well, let's just remove the fool who's standing out in the open. See, this is why I really need ammo conservation, and I'm glad I took it, because I'm, I'm running out of ammo here. Next turn, I'm... Oh, God. You sealed up the full, but it's okay. It took us a full turn to do it, I think. Yeah, it did. Yeah, you're... N <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? These Exalt are so dumb. I can't even comprehend how dumb they are. The damage is superficial. I have no doubt it is. Right, so you're gonna have to reload. Yeah, this is why I really need ammo conservation, because he, he can't do anything this turn. And same with my heavy. They literally can't do anything. Alright. Hold on. Uh, AoE's first, and then we have to pick off what's left. Wait, you're blocking my fucking way. <sighs> you're, you're blocking my way. I can't go out there to shoot a damn grenade because you're blocking my way. Actually, I don't even think it'd be big enough to get both, would it? No, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even get both. And I can't even shoot with him, because he's also out of ammo. And you're out of ammo. I can switch your pistol, but... Does up to two damage. Um, no. Oh, what am I gonna do? Well, I can kill you. Which is probably the best thing. Let's go do that. Hello! Didn't expect this, did you? Wait, am I gonna reach him? It doesn't indicate that it's reaching him, but it should. What, what? what the fuck? 
I thought it went through like two tiles maybe, but apparently not. Well, shit. I could shoot him in the face. Hmm. I'm gonna shoot you. Yes. That was the right call. Because now it means... I... Can... Well, I need to reload with you. And with you. But now you can actually walk outside. Could I flame both? Nah, it's not gonna reach. I could grenade him. Which would blow up his cover. Alright, let's... Let's move out. Decide what to do from here. Let's consider our options. I could pretty much guarantee a death with her, especially if I blow up one of their covers. Which could be you. So then what am I going to do with Arrow? There was someone over here. Not exactly sure where. Wait a minute, did I not do this? Did I activate this thing? Enemy oh no, I didn't. Are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. Let's get some eyes on what's going on over here. Nothing. Grenade will not hit both, correct? No, won't hit both. Flame will not hit both. I can guarantee your death. And I can pretty much guarantee your death as well. Or can I? I can. Yeah. It's kind of a strange play, but... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. That hurts him and blows up his cover. Which means... Now you can pretty much guarantee his death. Uh, I'm gonna do a headshot, just to, just to be certain. And you're dead. And I can guarantee your death. Is that full cover? Yes, it is. It's even full cover. It's a full cover flanking shot. Time to kick some ass. Up to seven damage. I guess I will do rapid fire. <laughs> Alright, I think there's one left, right? Someone over here. There's something out there. Let me guess, you're gonna go into no cover at all. You what the fuck is up with the exalt? <sighs> Snipers that don't take cover. Just what are you even thinking? Who can even get to you? You have a shot? Oh, you have a pistol. <laughs> this is not even gonna reach. I could rapid fire the pistol, which would be hilarious. There. No, what the fuck? Oh god, I did not mean to right click. Where am I going? Where am I even going? That. Actually, that's not. Well, that's pretty bad. Shit. That's really not good. Can I even get a shot on him? Maybe from here. Okay. Well <laughs> done. <laughs> Arrow is just amazing. She is amazing.
Well, that was a grand success. Excellent work all around. Another impressive effort from our troops. Oh, <gasps> I think you're the first one to get Colonel. Or Colonel. No, it's Colonel. Okay, medkits restore. It is medikits. I, I thought it was medkits. But it's medikits. Maybe medkit is copyrighted by someone or something. Four more health per use. That'd make them incredibly more effective. Sentinel. Allows two reaction shots during overwatch instead of only one. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna go full on medic with him. Yeah. John Cotton Candy Smith. Over oh, you have overdrive too. So now you can also shoot twice. That was an awesome mission. Oh, and Gary Warner is back. Let's see. New information about the location of Exalt's base. The Exalt base is not in one of the world's five most populous countries. Okay, so who does that remove? Exalt Heavy Laser. Oh, it's just gotta be the same stuff that I already have. Yeah, just laser weapons. Laser variants. Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. Recalculating. Recalculating. Not exactly sure what that removed. That wasn't there before, but yeah, it looks like we're down to about half. Well, one, two, three. Well, I guess we can't. I guess the base could be in a... A country that left us. So those are still in the mix. Mm, eight. Eight. So eight places it could be. I'm not here for your entertainment, in case you've forgotten. We have a war on our hands. Okay, serious question. If you accuse someone of, ha of housing the Exalt HQ, and you're wrong, they will leave. They'll leave from the XCOM program, and they won't give you any more money. So what if you accuse a place that's already left? What if I accuse Mexico? What are, what are they going to do? Leave again? Stamp their feet and puff their cheeks? I'm not going to do it, but I'm curious. Is there any reason not to at all? You'll have to check their status. I want our birds kept fully fueled at all times. That's weird. The, the text there totally didn't match what he just said. He said, I want our birds kept fully fueled at all times, but he said, I think our birds are fully fueled. Report bug! Okay. Um, let's see, I got money for that, so... Okay, I'm just gonna finally just... Do... No, not that. Uh, Iron Will. I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just do it. Done. Well, I'm poor once again. See no medals, no I research. Your efforts mm -hmm. to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I think there's nothing to do but wait. I can't wait for that ammo conservation. No. Oh. oh, it's a small scout. Perfect. Okay, it's gonna be easy to shoot down, and I can send some newbies on the mission. Oh God, it's one of my shitty ones with avalanche missiles. It'll be fine. We have eyes on the bandit. It's such a cute little UFO. It's easy to take down. It took two shots. Interceptor sustained heavy damage. Y you call it less than 50% damage heavy? If you say so. Okay, perfect. Let's send some newbies. Um... I have to be honest, I'm finding the kinetic strike to not be nearly as useful as the flamethrower and the grenade launcher. So... Yeah, it just doesn't have as much utility. Because the chance of actually getting close enough to an enemy to use it is... Not all that high. All 
All right, so I'm gonna put someone else for you, and I, I need to have my support. I need to have a medic. Because without a medic, I can't revive anybody, which is horrible. So, need my medic. I want Spectre to level up. So who should I ditch? Arrow or, or Soul? For a newbie. Mm, I want my scout. Yeah, I want Arrow as my scout, so... Sorry, Soul, but I'm going to put someone else in your place. Alright, so we're going to have two new people. I believe they're all named, right? All the ones I have. Yes. Alright, Anna Chavez. Or jo Chavez? Chavez. Or Chav is it Chavez? I don't know. We're about to rename them, though, so it doesn't matter. Right, let me grab my list here. Okay. Alright, the next viewer name on the randomized list of names is... Shimbo. Oh, should be a capital B. Shimbo. Yes. Anna Shimbo. Let's see, what should I make you? Let's make you Russian. And since you are Russian, you need to be white as snow. It needs to look like you never leave the house. There we go. Let's go with that. Yeah, it looks like you're waiting to direct air traffic, maybe? <laughs> it kind of does. Let's get some wicked colored eyebrows here. Let's see. There we go, we're going with the Oompa Loompa look. Green eyebrows. Hmm. Let's go with that. There we go, a color scheme that's so bright it'll scare the enemy away. Perfect. And one more. I'm actually going to run out of viewer names pretty soon if I keep making new people. Okay, the next viewer name is... Gravity. Sam Gravity. Let's see. Let's just hit a bunch of stuff. God, I can't really hit him very fast. Okay, what did I make? Eh, doesn't look crazy enough. Do it again, do it again, do it again. How about now? Eh, not crazy enough. Let's go for... Ah, it's a shame there's no massive beard. I want a massive beard. Let's go for a mustache. Ooh, yeah, looking cool. Yep, that's the one. Should I have a matching color here? Where is it? Oh my god, that burns my eyes. Which means it's perfect. <laughs> You're the brightest member of the entire squad. Alright, make items available, and let's see what we got. Scoping that, that's good. Blah, 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 good, good, good. And you people need much better stuff. There we go. Hold on, let's check this exalt laser rifle. It's probably the same. 4 to 6, 10, 8 to 10. 4 to 6, 10, 8 to 10. 4 to 6, 10, 8 to 10. Yep, it's the same. Vest and... Let's go. 
Yeah, that gives you the greatest chance of survival. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, shit, I don't have another laser rifle, do I? No, I only have two. Okay, I'll just give you the exalt one, then. It has the same stats. I mean, it makes you look like an evil bastard, but that's fine. Oh, I don't... Ah, oh shit, I don't even have another scope. Um... Grenade? Nah, he's never gonna use a grenade. Medkit? I guess. Well, actually, no, no, hold on, here's what I'm gonna do. Because this is an easy mission, and I do want to use the arc thrower, not, not to capture the main alien that I need for the main quest, but just to capture aliens in general. So I'm gonna replace her... scope. Yeah, I'm gonna replace the scope of the arc thrower. And I will give you the scope. Okay, we good to go? Everyone has laser stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Medkit scope. Armor scope, armor scope, armor scope, armor scope, arc thrower, armor. And we're good. How many names do I have left? There's only three names on my list left. Yeah, I might actually run out. Oh god, you, don't, you do not want to see what happens when I have to name my troops myself. Bad things happen. That's when you end up with names like Chapstick and Router. Like when I play through Enemy Unknown. The next deployment site is in the UK. It looks like we got lucky. All right, stu the stuffing things, you, you blew it up, you gotta capture Mel. Yep, we're good. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike One is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike One is clear to attempt the breach. I like the little details they put on the map. The fact that they put down flares. Very cool. Alright, so what do I actually have? What can I actually do? Because my newbies... They can just fire their weapon and that's it. So I have a sniper and I have a support and I have an assault and a mech. Okay. Assault goes first, of course, because she has my medic skin. Hold on, let's feel out the map. Okay, that's the edge. Holy shit, where's the... Where's... The, oh, there's the edge. Okay, so it looks like it mostly goes this way, right? Yeah, okay. So, the UFO is probably this direction. <laughs> it worked. What do you see? Hello, mutons! Looks like there's... three of them? Wait a minute. What is that? Why does that have so much health? Something there has so much... an incredible amount of health. But I can't see it. That worries me. Well, I want Spectre to have some height advantage. Back here might be a good idea. She's far away, but yeah, I think that'll be good. I don't want to move people too close so they actually trigger the enemies. Alright, we might discover them next turn because they might move. Time to motor. 
Your move. Are they discovered? Did we? Yep, yep, we discovered them. Oh god, it's a super muton. It's like a bazooka. Oh, right, they're melee attackers. Okay, and there's a meld canister. Right, so I need to kill you. Um, If I remember right, they have some crazy thing where they can, like, enrage and get closer to you. As in, during this turn. Before it's even their turn. I think they had that functionality. Alright, well, this is just going to be a shooting gallery, so let's give first dibs to our newbies. Spectre, do you have a shot? You do. Unfortunately, it's on the one that I don't really need to shoot as much. So, yes, first dibs to our newbies. Uh, I'd like to be in full cover, though, uh, although there's no point in being in cover at all for the Berserker, because, again, it's a melee character. Ah, uh, we can kill them all. I'll just take the shot. God, your aim is terrible. And you missed. Congratulations. You suck. It's okay, though. You'll get better. I kind of want to spread out here. Um. Oh, that's only half cover. Never mind. Oh, my God. You goddamn newbies. Well, I gave my I gave both of my newbies, my rookies, a shot, and they both missed. Is it grenade time? I think it's grenade time. It's grenade time. Hold on, I think he's gonna move up now, right? Intimidate? That's that's the thing I was thinking of. Yep. Close Combat Specialist, yeah, for the win! For the lose. You seriously miss- Arrow, I love you, but how do you miss from someone within four tiles when you have a shotgun? <sighs> hey, at least I know it works, though. That's really cool. Okay. Well. <laughs> I could try to arc thrower it. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna work. It needs to be very low on health. Right, let's just kill that. Take it out of the picture, and see what we have to work with. Oh, Spectre has earned a promotion. Good job, Spectre. I do want to see if I can arc thrower it. It's too dangerous. It's way too dangerous. If I used her arc thrower, then that would mean it would be up to Graves to actually kill it. No. No. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to rapid fire. Att intimidate. It's not actually going to... Can it attack? No, that just means it moves closer. And it's already moved, so it's good. And now you're dead. Man, I would have liked to arc thrower that thing so bad. Because it's such a hard enemy to arc thrower. Ah, uh, that would've been so much fun. Alright. Can't quite get to the meld canister, unfortunately. Let's move you up here. No aliens. Although, there's a little bit of undiscovered here, so they could be right next to it, but they probably aren't. Can I take cover behind the fire? No? Damn. Gotta sprint like crazy here to get to the front line. Nine five. Ya 
Yes, sir. Okay, and of course you are extremely far away. Ooh. Mm. This would be good high ground, but there could be enemies over here. Yeah, there's a bit of... There's quite a bit of open area over there, so no. Let's just put you here. I really want to capture an alien this this map with the arc thrower. Okay, the other one is Oh, I can actually see it a little bit. Yeah, it's right there. So we can just keep on moving to the left. Right. First thing is capture this. Or should I? I could capture it with the mech and then scout with her. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's move in. Wait, what the fuck? No! I thought I had... What the fuck? I thought I had my arrow selected. I sent fucking Shimbo in. It's okay, though. It's only... I mean, it's only that little pissant thing, actually. It's not a big deal, but Jesus, I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, Shimbo. It's okay, you'll be fine. How should I kill you? Does my sniper have a shot? Oh, my sniper does have a shot. Okay, let's give you a shot first. Come on, 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 Every effort to stun this particular species of alien using the arc thrower. I have to say, I don't think Dr. Valen understands how life really works. Look, this is reality, Dr. Valen. In reality, you can grind and not progress the main mission, and the enemies won't get tougher. That's how it works in the real world, Dr. Valen. Okay? Okay. See, even he agrees. Okay. Okay, well, Shimbo's on the front line. Full cover, full cover, full cover. I guess it's... Go oh, she might actually go through the fire. No, she's gonna go right... No, she'll be fine. Okay, you're the person I meant to move. Oh, I have seven turns to get it? Oh, I'm good. Seven turns is more than enough. Spreading out here. So if anyone decided to lob a grenade, we should be fine. Where are they? I heard them. Right, you're way too far away. You know what would be awesome? What if you could, like, climb to the top of trees using your muscle memory, or the muscle fiber density? Or the grappling hook? So you can be a sniper in a tree? Now, the way the trees are designed, I don't think that would really work. They don't exactly have flat tops. I don't know, maybe get, like, tree climbing boots or something? It'd be kinda cool. The thing is, though, they're a varying height, so that might be kinda difficult to implement. But that would be pretty cool. You get a height advantage in these these woods maps. That'd be pretty awesome. Alright, I don't want to move her up too much because she can be detected by certain things, which I suspect includes seekers. Alright, it looks to be safe. I got a bunch of half cover out here. 
but we're gonna have to live with it. Yeah, look at this attention to detail, it's actually really nice. You can see these are the skid marks where this UFO crashed, and it crashed this way, leaving behind all this rubble. Slid here. It's really cool. Alright, well, let's just sprint into place. Not sure if I want to move up that much. No, it's fine. If there's anyone here, then Arrow would have found them already. Yeah, this mission's really easy. It's, it's a small scout. I probably could have taken even more newbies. Actually, this would have been one of the perfect missions to use all of the newbies on. Go with that crazy idea. Let's get one overwatch. Come on, Jimbo, protect us. Hmm. Okay, it looks like they're outside. Or they're right in that corner, which is pretty doubtful. I don't think they could all fit there. Let's just grab this, get this out of the way, and scout this corner. Yep, there we go. Is that all that's left? Just two puny floaters? Alright, we need to capture one. So, let's just move you in. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I get- oh fuck, I get it now. Okay, okay, okay. I was fundamentally misunderstanding one of the properties of mimetic skin. Where is it? Mimetic skin... Um... Does not work if any enemies have a line of sight to the soldier's starting position. Now, what I was assuming is that that meant if you were seen. That is, if the enemies could see you in your present position, then it wouldn't matter what you moved to. So I was thinking that didn't count here because I was in mimetic skin. I was invisible. So they, they couldn't see me from my starting position because I was already invisible, but no. If they have line of sight to where you are, regardless of whether they actually know you're there, they will see you. So now I know. Now I get it. Okay. Well, she can take a couple of shots. She'll be fine. Probably. I can't do anything with her now, so... It's gonna have to be. I could just blow them up, maybe. No, can't reach. Hmm... I've lost the element of surprise, which is bad. I really want to use the arc thrower, so I really don't want to kill them, but I don't want to put Arrow in too much danger. Moving to position. I can only get one. No, I'm not going to kill him, but I'm going to do some overwatch, I think. Maybe throw a smoke on her? I could. The thing is, though, the floaters are probably just gonna jet up and probably just, like, land in the smoke cloud. Kind of negating the point and also maybe protecting them. So that's actually probably a bad idea. No, I'm just gonna overwatch to protect Arrow. Yeah, let's do some overwatch. It, it might end up killing them just by overwatch alone. But I'm hoping one will be left. Alive, maybe. Double time. Double time? I, I expect triple time. Wait, are you... Holy shit, you can shoot one of them from here, Spectre? <laughs> 93% shot. Oh my god.
Okay. Take it. Spectre, you are amazing. See, this is the power of squad sight. Look at that. Okay, so you're the one I need to get. You know, even if you got, like, the best crit possible against Arrow, she'd be fine. So I'm actually not go- I'm purposely not going to Overwatch. I think I should just pop a smoke. Yeah, let's just reduce the chance of us taking damage. Arrow's gonna be fine. This will protect the newbies from getting critted, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, just hunker down. Just protect yourselves. Might as well move you up, though. Well, nah, there's no reason to. You can just blow it up with a grenade. I don't want to overwatch with you. I'm not going to do anything with you. Yeah, I'm just going to end my turn. There we go. <laughs> you think Overwatch is going to protect you? Actually, wait, you're fl Oh, shit, can I even Arc Thrower you? Can I Arc Thrower it from below? Uh... Does anyone know if this is going to work? I'm in the ring, but I'm below it. I guess we're about to find out. It's going to, of course, Overwatch shot on me, but... I have lightning reflexes, so it's gonna miss. And the floater takes a reaction shot, and the floater misses. Arrow is safe. Okay. Oh, it does work. Hold on. Higher chance of the target's health is at 3 HP or below. Can I soften you up? Um, yes I can. For once, the pistol is actually useful. See, that's going to kill it if it hits. But, if we switch to the shitty pistol... Perfect. Now what are my chances? Much higher. Everything by the numbers. That went exceptionally well, and that was such an easy mission. Outstanding. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. Excellent. Well, both of our rookies have been promoted to squatty. Congratulations, Shimbo and Gravity. And, oh my god, what's wrong with you people? Why did you both become assaults? I don't need more assaults. I have that's like five assaults I have now. Can can I like sell my soldiers on the black market? I mean I love you guys, but I don't need assaults. <laughs> I really don't. I guess I could turn them into mechs, maybe? I don't know if I need more. I could. I don't know. I really wanted another heavy. That's what I needed most. When they could get the shredder rocket. No, oh, run and gun. And run and gun. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Here, um, I'm gonna do something different here. Normally I take disabling shot. However, I am realizing that battle scanner is actually quite valuable. Yes, I actually played one... I played a match of multiplayer, XCOM Enemy Within. And I actually used the Battle Scanner, and it was incredibly valuable. The thing about the Battle Scanner is it's like a grenade. In that it's it's something that you throw in and it has a bubble of... A bubble where it does stuff within it, you know? So it'll, it'll, sh it'll reveal a certain radius around it when thrown. However, when compared to a grenade, it has an extremely large radius, and it can be thrown even further. So I was thinking it wouldn't do any good because I have. I have met Mimetic Skin with Arrow, and she's my scout. But the Battle Scanner actually can be thrown further than, than Arrow could possibly move. And when combined with Squad Sight, it will allow you to shoot enemies 
that can't even see you. Because I guess the battle scanner itself is kind of like... It, it counts as one of your squad, I guess, for squad sight or something like that. So you can reveal enemies that can't see you and shoot them. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I never used a battle scanner. At least I don't think I did. In my enemy unknown playthrough. So I think it's about time I use it a bit. Berserker Autopsy. Wait. Oh, oh yeah, I was thinking it was what I captured. No, the autopsy is just because that's the first time I encountered the Berserker. And I think I maybe already had... Have I already interrogated a floater? I know I've interrogated something. Maybe it's a floater that I've already done. Is it? Yeah, there's no interrogation for for the floater. So I guess that's the one I've already gotten. But it's okay, though. Because capturing it gives you more stuff, I think. I'm not exactly sure what it does. It's got to be something, though. It's got to give you some sort of bonus for capturing it, even if you've already interrogated it, I would think. Anyway, I don't think there's anything to do other than just... Wait some more. Yeah. My skeleton suit will be done in just a minute, and then ammo conservation, which I desperately need, will be done very soon after that. But yes, everything is progressing very well in the XCOM project. For the most part, aside from the three, three different places that I've lost, Russia, Mexico, and Brazil. But despite that, apparently I have a rating of B for my last council report, so I guess it's not all that bad. Alright, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.